everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I have got 10 holiday ready to wear looks for you to recreate between now and the end of the year <laughs> if you so desire. I've paired them all with patterns and fabrics but before we get into that today's Friday which means it is Love Notions Feature Friday and today's pa pattern is the Canyon Cardigan. Um, I've actually not made this one up yet, but it's beautiful. It works really well, well with like your drapier sweater knits. Um, yeah, it, I I think it would make a great cozy um, item if you're still if you're working on um, Christmas gifts for people. This would be a great and easy one to make for a loved one um, because sizing isn't quite as um, important, you know, because you can just do numerical, you know, the small, medium, large type sizing and it's a pretty forgiving. So this would be a great one to make for a family uh, member or some loved one that you are making a gift for. Anyway, it is $5 today only. Tomcat 10 gets you an additional 10% off the sale price. So definitely head over if you're interested in some more cozy makes, um, especially for $5. Okay, 10 looks. I have pulled both looks that would be great for, um, you know, sitting at home for a family Christmas or, you know, holiday type event, as well as garments that might be a little bit more suited for going out at New Year's or even any fancier events that you might, um, holiday type events that you might be attending this month as well. I tried to get a little bit of a mix in there. So, um, and we'll be kind of going back and forth between the two uh, genres. <laughs> Anyway, um, let's get started. These videos can get long and um, I've got a lot to say. Okay, look number one. And I also, I don't really remember where I pulled all of these. Um, I was looking at a whole bunch of different uh, clothing sites. So everything, you can link back to the original if you want to buy any of these things because I, I just found these on current websites. Um, so you should be able to buy these items if you'd like. Um, but I have those... Uh, Pinterest board link below and it'll take you back to the original source of all these inspiration pictures. Okay, dress number one is this very cozy. I mean, it's a cozy Christmas plaid. I just think you could eat and eat and eat in this and be so comfortable yet still be festive. Um, the pattern that I've picked is the Take the Chance shirt dress. Now, the inspiration does have just a collar stand. It doesn't have an actual collar. And the Take the Chance dress doesn't have a collar stand. It has a, like, a camp collar, a collar that's just attached to the to the dress. But other than that, it's, like, the same thing. There's even pockets that come in the Take the Chance um, shirt dress. My computer's also here. I'm looking at everything that I'm telling you. So in case you're wondering why I keep gazing off to the lower uh, corner here. Um, I think that you could recreate this dress very easily. And I have made two of these dresses. They're so comfortable, yet still very flattering. And for the um, fabric, I've picked this Minerva Core Rain. Um, cotton shirting. This would just be wonderful. You could put on your tights underneath. You could even put a turtleneck on underneath for a base layer if you wanted to keep a little bit more warm. Um, you could make any of the, the sleeves that go with the Take the Chance dress or you could mash on the Meet You There tear dress sleeves like I have done with mine. I just think this would be a great holiday outfit and you would feel like you were still in your pajamas throughout the entire day. It'd be a win-win, really. I mean, do I need a third one? Maybe. Okay, this gal is clearly dressed for something a little fancier. Um, it's kind of hard to see in the picture, but this is a velvet dress and it has a, a floral pattern on it, just in dark tones. But I think it is absolutely gorgeous. She has it fitted in at the waist, it accentuates the bust nicely, nice long sleeves, hits midi length. This really screamed the, um, oh, what is the name of this dress? I don't have, let's see, this is the bell woven dress from um, Style Art Patterns. And I think that, I mean, it's it's the dress. Um, I don't think that the, well, I could be wrong. I can't tell if the, no, I think the original one does have buttons, at least in the bodice. But you just take the bu buttons all the way down. Um, I think it would just be beautiful. I would do the longer sleeve. Um, and for the fabric, I found this beautiful silk rayon velvet from Metro Textiles. It is a pricey fabric, but he does currently have 45% off. He runs sales all the time. Um, his fabric is gorgeous. I've ordered from him quite a few times, but you could have a really, really gorgeous event dress um, in this floral velvet and in this pattern. I just think it would be so pretty. Um, you could go to a concert, you could go to any kind of Christmas or um, 
any holiday event, really, uh, New Year's, whatever, in this dress and still feel very put together. You're going to see a lot of velvet and you're going to see some sequins going on here. <laughs> I'm just really taken with texture this time of year. I just love a good um, shiny, warm, the, the velvet or, you know, the rough sequins. I just really like a good texture moment this time of year. Okay, for look three. Okay, this is a suit and I think it is so stunning. It's made in a satin. Um, I... You have to be careful with satins because they can be very, very drapey. Um, so I think I would go for more of a cotton sateen for this to get this look. So you still have the structure of the blazer and the matching pants. And actually, I've gone a little rogue on this one. I picked a print. So Style Maker Fabrics has um, this gorgeous floral sateen, cotton sateen. So you would have that sheen of the sateen, but it would be so gorgeous. It's still the same like color story as this suit. I also love that it's an unexpected color for Christmas. Um, I think that it would be beautiful. And for the patterns, I've picked the McKinsey, the Style Art McKinsey um, blazer and pants. You can buy that in a bundle actually. Uh, I mean, you could wear it as a full suit for like a really cool event. And then obviously you can break those pieces up and wear them separately throughout the rest of the winter. But I just think it, that fabric does say winter to me, even though it is, you know, kind of in um, the pastel background. I just want someone to make this so bad. These are not my colors. This is a little, um, well, I shouldn't say that. I mean, maybe this is peachy enough for me, but um, I have a lot of loud suits. So I need someone else to make this. <laughs> I think it would be so gorgeous. All right. Um, next look. I mean, this is just classic right here. You know how I just made myself a bias um, slip skirt. Love it so much. And I think you could really knock it out of the park with a tone on tone look. Um, and if you can tell, the sweater has been embellished. If you follow Katherine Holbrook, she is bring sewing, bringing sewing back on Instagram. She has gone through this whole journey of not only hand embroidering on... Um, like sweaters and stuff like that for her daughter, but she's also gone on a beading journey. She did sequins on one sweater. She was recreating some like designer high-end sweaters. And then she did actually some hand like um, beads on another one. Um, Cause there's not a ton, but you can have a lot of fun either buying something ready to wear and then embellishing it or embellishing something that you made. So for the um, top, I mean, this is basically just any kind of sweatshirt pattern, just something easy, you know, loose, very plain so that you can do the embellishments on it. So I've actually just grabbed the Love Notion Sloan sweater for this one, but you could use any sweatshirt pattern that you have in your stash. I just picked the Sloan because one of the versions is just very, there's not a lot, there's not seams. It's just a front, a back, sleeves. Um, and then you can put the band on the bottom. Um, for the fabric, I've gone with the, uh, this is the is it double-sided or reversible sweater knit that um, Style Maker carries? It has like a rib knit on one side and then kind of a brushed fluffy on the other. It's beautiful. Um, I have a sample of that that I got in the fall, um, her fall style tour um, packet of samples. And uh, it's just gorgeous. And it would make a beautiful sweatshirt slash sweater pattern that then you could put embellishments on if you wanted to. And then for the skirt, I've gone with the McCall's, what is it, 7931 pattern. This is the one I've just made. Um, it was a sew the look that I did, and it's wonderful. And it comes with different lengths. So you could do, I did mine, I guess I did mine midi, um, and I would do a midi length uh, bias cut skirt for this look. And then I've chosen this beautiful um, satin, it's a core range satin from uh, Minerva in this uh, kind of a silvery color. I think it would be beautiful with the gray. So you could have a, a very wintry monochromatic look, put a little bit of bling bling on the sweater and you'll be set and ready to go for a party or just to be a little bit more comfortable. Okay, look number five. All right, this is a very simple velvet slip dress. But how versatile would this be in a winter wardrobe? Um, it would be. <laughs> I just keep thinking when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, you could wear this over t-shirts. So it could, you could make it more casual. Um, you could wear it over a, um, an elaborate like button up crisp white button down shirt with like maybe a statement sleeve. Um, you could just wear it as a slip dress, put a blazer on over it. I just feel like there's so many ways you could wear this velvet slip dress. Um, for the pattern, I have actually picked the um, cashmere. Is it the Avola? How do we pronounce that? Hold on. Yeah, Avola slip dress. Now this is from their um, 
their uh, club. So any, it's the December pattern though. So any of the tiers can get the pattern if you um, join for December. Um, and the lower tiers you can join month by month. Um, it is so good. I've not made it for myself yet, but I made the cami for Jenny. So good. Goes together so easily. I cannot wait to make the slip dress for myself because she has an option with thicker straps that'll cover your bra straps, which I am here for all day long. Um, and again, I made Jenny the one with the thicker straps, covers her bra straps beautifully. Um, and I made hers out of silk charmeuse. But I think this would be a great um, dress. And I've picked this beautiful velvet. It's a core range velvet from Minerva. Um, and it, I picked the black because the inspiration dress, oopsie. The inspiration dress is black, but it does come in a whole bunch of different colors. So if black's not your thing, not a lot of people can wear black well. So if that's not your thing, there are other colors, you know, jewel, darker colors, and even some lighter colors that you could do to make, um, recreate a velvet slip dress yourself. All right. Okay. Look number six. I've actually picked two because I, the first one I saw, I thought, well, this might be a little young because it's a very short mini skirt. And then I found the second look, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you could, whatever you're comfortable with, whatever your style aesthetic's with, you could go with either of these. So I have picked these two, um, and it's the same patterns and the same fabrics. I would just use different colors and different views. So obviously this is a sequined fitted skirt. You could either have it um, midi, like a pencil midi skirt, or you could do a mini skirt depending on your style preference. And uh, for that pattern, I have picked the uh, Styla Sitka skirt find that here. Um, and it is, a, it's like a faux wrap skirt. It has like a little um, uh, split kind of right there. Uh, but I think you would definitely get the same kind of look from either of these. And I've picked this wonderful, again, it's a Minerva Core range sequin fabric. Um, it comes in this rose gold that I think matches kind of that pinky color that the mini skirt is in. And then this um, kind of a cobalt blue. It's not quite as, as navy as the inspiration skirt, but I think it would work just as well. Um, so that's what I would use either the mini skirt version or the midi skirt version to create your sequin skirt. And then for the top, I would use the um, Love Notions Arlington sweater. I think you could use the crop version with more of the bell sleeve or even the pleated um, sleeve, or not pleated, it's gathered. I did a hack of it making it pleated. <laughs> but the puff sleeve, the long sleeved uh, version, and um, or you could do the regular with the cowl neck to get the look of the navy blue outfit. And I've gone with the beautiful luxury sweater knit from Stylemaker Fabrics for both of these. And I've picked out just two colors that would work with the corresponding um, sequin fabric. So I've got kind of a warm orange that I think would look really fun with the rose gold, kind of the rosy pink um, skirt. Or I've gone with a navy to go with the blue if you want something a little less color blocked and more um, monochromatic. But yes, I think both those patterns, you could make either one of those looks, which is a lot of fun. Um, you could even make something for yourself and then maybe something for a daughter that's in, or a niece or something that's in her early 20s. Um, so you have the same outfit, but no one would know you were wearing the same outfit. Very sneaky. <laughs> All right, next, this beautiful top. I love that it is see-through. Um, you can put a cami underneath it. I think it's just beautiful. It'd be gorgeous with a pair of ponty pants at any Christmas dinner, and you're gonna look really fancy and really put together. For the pattern on this, I have picked the um, Closet Core Patterns NYX top. So I um, actually haven't made this view. I'm making the dress view for Jenny and I made the other shirt view for Jenny, which is just like a longer shirt. But the peplum style top is this pattern. You use the longer sleeves. Um, the only difference is that the NYX does not have a collar and this one does have a collar, but you would have you know the V-neck, the same type of thing. And for the fabric, Blackbird Fabrics has this burnout velvet. It's in a check, so it's not the, the animal print that's in the inspiration picture, but it's so close, and it's a very similar color, but it's see-through in the parts, um, in the meshy parts, and the knot in the velvety parts. I think this would make such a cool shirt. Put on a little, you know, a fitted knit tank underneath, or a camisole of some sort, and you're gonna look really put together for the holidays. Love that one. Okay. Um, next up, I have this gal. Um, now this dress is a sweetheart neckline and I've gone with something a little different, but this is another black velvet. This one is knit, it's stretchy, so I have picked a dress that is also stretchy. Um, I have gone with McCall's 8174. <laughs> um, obviously this one is a square neckline, but I think it gives the same feel. 
Um, I would do the longer sleeves and the midi length dress for this one. Um, and for the fabric, uh, it's another Minerva core range. I love their core range that they're doing now, but this is a stretch velvet. So, and I think it's a crushed, a stretch crushed velvet. So you're gonna get the stretch that you need, but you still have the luxe velvet feel. Um, and it would be very comfortable because it's a knit dress. I own this pattern and I'm very anxious to uh, make it at some point here soon. Um, I would not make mine black because that is not in my color palette, but I think it would be beautiful in a navy or a green, like an odd deep olive green or even a bronze color. Um, anyway, this fabric does come in other colors. It comes in quite a few different colors, but I think that it would make a really good statement dress and it would be secret pajamas. You can't go wrong, right? <laughs> okay, this next one, I just thought it was cool because it's the faux leather. I am just all about the faux leather. Um, I've got two cuts of it right now that I've told you about that are the Minerva Core range. Um, and that's what I've suggested for this one. But I think this is so cute as a yoked skirt. So it's fitted through the hips and then you've got the flare at the bottom. And for the, um, well, we'll start with the skirt first. For the skirt, I've gone with the Style Art Gabriella because it, it's the it's the same look. It is fitted through the hips, and then you've got the flare that comes out. Um, again, it's the Minerva Core range. Um, I think it's called like the Baby or Supple. I can't remember what the, what it's called. It's the same uh, faux leather that I have currently in red and kind of a camely color, um, but they've got an olive green. So obviously, this gal is wearing more of a teal. I couldn't find that color, but. Personally, olive green would look great on me. <laughs> It'd be a great little color combination. Um, but I just think this is so cute as a little flirty skirt for the winter months. Now, she's got it on with just a regular crew neck like sweater. So any of like the Sloan or the Arlington, you can make that a crew neck. There's a any basic sweater, sweatshirt type pattern you could use. Um, and I would go with the... Um, this rib knit from um, Style Maker Fabrics. I think it would be beautiful. It looks a little darker than what the faux leather is, but I think that creates a very tonal monochromatic look. Um, put something underneath it you could wear. I mean, this girl has like a ruffle blouse underneath it, but you could put just like a white blouse underneath it um, for the collar to pop out and be set and ready to go. And what a cute little outfit, just a cute little fun and flirty outfit for, um, and different. That faux leather just makes it different. Big fan of that. Okay, I'm kind of flying through these a little bit. All right, I was very excited about this one. All right, so this sweater dress just looks so cozy, and obviously it has the fair isle detail across the yoke. Now, a, this kind of needs to be knitted, or you need a panel of some sort in order to get just, you know, the pattern on a certain part of the dress, but the fair isle is what does it, and I love that opened up neckline. So, for the, um, Patterns, I would mash together the Love Notions Tessa sheath dress with the Love Notions Terra tunic. The Terra tunic has a neckline that folds over and has the buttons just like this neckline. And um, and you might be able to play around with the Terra tunic and just you know lengthen it and make it into a dress. But I think mashing the neckline onto the Tessa would also work. Um, it just kind of depends on what you have in your stash and what works. Uh, for the fabric, I was looking because um, Style Maker actually had a beautiful Fair Isle sweater knit uh, back in the fall, but they've completely sold out of it. But I found one very similar at Raspberry Creek Fabrics, and um, it would be perfect. Now, you would have the Fair Isle the whole part of the dress, but what a cozy sweater dress you would have for um, just any of the holiday season. And the colors aren't so, like, Christmas that you couldn't wear it like into January and February really easily. So I really enjoy that about it too. Um, you know, some of the more Christmassy colors, you feel like you get to a certain, you know, once the new year hits and you're like, well, that feels a little too holiday, you know, that kind of thing. But this doesn't. I think you could wear this holiday and then also after the holidays as well and have a really cozy uh, sweater dress. Okay. I kind of flew through those, didn't I, today? Look at me being efficient. <laughs> So there you have it, guys. Those are 10 holiday looks, and none of them are too, like, involved. And maybe the satin suit is pretty involved. You know, maybe you would have a hard time getting that done between now and the holidays. But a lot of these, I think, are very doable. And I have been saying in my videos how important it is to take some time for yourself to be creative, whatever that looks like for you. 
I am guilty of this as well, of just getting bogged down in the busyness of the season and then be finding myself burnt out by the time January 1st hits. So I'm saying this as much to myself as I am to you guys, but this is your friendly reminder just to take some time for yourself to be creative so that you don't completely burn out and that you still have stuff left in the well to give to others as we enter the season of giving and um, yeah, so that we can enjoy our time with our families and enjoy the season. Because um, that's just too bad when we get too wrapped up in what we're doing to actually enjoy what we're doing. Okay, preach over. <laughs> I'll step off my soapbox. <laughs> okay, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you have a wonderful Friday. I hope you get some sewing in this weekend. I hope it's enjoyable sewing and not sewing that you have to do. And um, I will be back on Sunday with another week of Vlogmas. I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you then. Bye everyone.